guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm getting real about how women come. What is it that gets us to the big O? Is there like one specific like guaranteed technique that will just get us to climax every single time? And if there is a technique like that, what is it and how can you do it? Well, I'm gonna answer all of that. I'm gonna give you a very juicy answer, pun intended, and I'm gonna do it right after this. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. So when I'm not on YouTube, I actually write a sex column. I've been a sex columnist for a number of years now. And in my job as a sex columnist, I'm constantly reading up on the latest research and studies about female pleasure and sex in general. And something that I learned very early on in my career by reading some of the data around female pleasure is about the time gap between male and female orgasm. What we know is that when women and men masturbate, that is when we just touch ourselves on our own, when we are completely in private and our partner is not around, we actually can get to orgasm in about the same amount of time, which is roughly four minutes. Some of us can even get there quicker. Lucky you, and some of us like to make it last longer, but on average, we can both get there in around four minutes. But when we have partnered sex, that number really jumps up for women. It can take women anywhere between 12 to 25 minutes to be in a state where we are conducive to having an orgasm. And that's because of the brain vagina loop. Now, if you're not new here, this will be a concept that you have definitely heard me rattle on about before, and that's because it is so important to female pleasure and the female orgasm. The brain vagina loop is a term that was coined by author and academic Naomi Wolf, and it's used to describe the fact that the vagina and the brain are interconnected. In other words, if a woman is mentally stressed out, her vagina will also be in a stressed state and she won't be able to get to orgasm. It can be very, very, very difficult. In fact, they even did scans on women's brains during stimulation of the genitals to the point of orgasm and found that all of the anxiety and fear centers in the brain shut down right before a woman comes. So being in a relaxed state is super important for women and that can take time. When we are in the presence of a partner, it can be much harder for us to get out of our own heads. We're worrying about things like how our body looks, how good we feel in ourselves, how the temperature of the room is and we're also just worrying about normal daily stresses things like our work life our family whether we've had a fight with a friend or with our partner that day and so the best thing that you can do as the partner of a vagina owner is to actually just give your partner time to relax her brain so that her vagina can get relaxed too because just like any other muscle in the body the vagina gets stressed and it can get really tense and really tight. And penetration can feel really uncomfortable, if not painful, if the vagina is in a tense, stressed state. If you're watching this now and you're a woman and you've ever started having sex with a partner and he's inserted his penis or maybe a finger or a dildo inside you and you've thought, ow, that hurt a little bit. That's because your vagina wasn't relaxed yet. You need to get those vaginal muscles relaxed before you can have pleasurable sex and then you're going to need to be having pleasurable sex if you want to get to orgasm because it's if sex isn't comfortable no one's coming well maybe the guy might come but no chance for the vagina owner so we want to get her comfortable and relaxed and that means as a man you need to employ some tools and techniques to get yourself to last longer so that she has more time and so that you can do longer foreplay. Foreplay meaning things like extended kissing, touching over the clothes, just having the clothes on and fondling each other over the clothes, slowly taking the clothes off and touching and licking and caressing her body, going down on her and giving her oral sex. And then when you do penetrate her, you want to be able to still keep going for a while before you orgasm so that she has time to orgasm. But for a lot of penis owners, once they've done all that foreplay and they insert the penis, whoo, it's fireworks. It feels like you're ready to come straight away and it can be really, really difficult to hold off, which is why 
I have a little tool, a little trick for you, something in my toolkit. It is actually a product by the guys at Promescent who are also today's video sponsors. So thank you Promescent for sponsoring today's video. Promescent actually make a range of delay sprays. That's what they are best known for. Now I don't actually normally endorse delay sprays because in my experience, the ones that I've seen, they're very messy. They tend to actually just completely numb you. So you can't really feel anything or even enjoy the sex. They can be transferred to your female partner so then she can't enjoy the sex and nobody ends up winning in that equation. But Promescent's products work really differently. They actually just work to take the edge off. They're not going so deep that you're going to be having sex feeling numb. You're still going to feel all of those amazing feel good feelings but you're gonna have that edge taken off that makes you feel like you're going to get to climax at any minute because you want to hold off for your female partner. And also, it's a quick and easy spray, but if you want something even more convenient, particularly for traveling, they also recently launched some delay wipes, which you can just use by wiping over the shaft of the penis and just letting it sink in and do its magic and then you are good to have sex as usual. But what it means is by taking that edge off, it's going to make you last longer so your female partner can have time to relax her brain so her vagina can get in the game so she can get to orgasm. Because let me tell you, I don't care if you have all of the sex moves. I don't care if you know everything there is to know about the clitoris. If you cannot last long enough in bed as a penis owner, then it's going to be very unlikely that your female partner is going to get to orgasm. And because Promise and today's video sponsor, they've very kindly offered all of you all a discount. You get 15% off any of their products that you purchase when you use the link below this video. So there's no discount code, just hit that link. It's going to apply the discount instantly. You'll get that 15% off. Check out their delay wipes, check out their delay spray. They're some of the cheapest also that I have personally seen. And they even have a female arousal gel, which I really enjoy from just rubbing on the clitoris for that just a little bit of extra stimulation for us ladies. Now, speaking of clitorises, the clitoris is the key to orgasm for roughly two thirds of women. Research does show that most of us either require or strongly prefer direct sustained clitoral stimulation in order to get to the big O. But this is really important, guys. The clitoris is not a DJ booth. We don't want you on there like that's that's not good. The clitoris is a huge bundle of nerves. It's estimated there's around 8,000 nerve endings in there. And so that means it can feel amazing. In fact, there's even more nerve endings in there than you'll find in the head of the penis. But it also means that it can be very uncomfortable if it's overstimulated. So slowly, gently wins the race with the clitoris. There are three clitoral stimulation moves that are my go-tos that I would recommend that you try out. And they are the stroke, the circle and the rock. The stroke is just two fingers and you're going to want to stroke back and forth. Not lots of stroking like that. You're just doing a very small range of motion back and forth, back and forth. And then the circle, you're just doing a very small circle around the clitoris. And lastly, the rock is like the stroke, but you're just gonna rock your fingers a little bit. Again, it's all about having a very small, subtle movement. You're not trying to rock heaps. It's just a very subtle rock. And then what you wanna do is try and mix it up between between those three techniques and also please just use some personal lubricant and most importantly ask for feedback there is no cookie cutter way to get a woman to orgasm every woman will be different some women when you stroke their clitoris will want very firm hard pressure and some women like myself want very gentle pressure so everyone is different so you need to ask for that feedback as you're stroking and circling her clitoris ask her do you prefer a stroke or a circle? Do you want softer? Do you want harder? Can I go faster or slower for you? The more feedback you get, the more information you have to get that clitoral stimulation right. And if you're a bit shy about asking her, then another little trick that you can do is ask her to just masturbate in front of you. You'll get a very sexy free show of your partner masturbating, but also you'll get to see the exact way that she likes her clitoris to be stimulated. After you've watched for a little bit, you can just simply place your fingers over the top of her fingers and let her fingers guide you around and then you can commit that to memory and then you're good to go. 
Now, my personal preference is to combine clitoral and G-spot stimulation for the ultimate blended, powerful, change her life orgasm. But some women can actually come just exclusively from penetration and G-spot stimulation. It's somewhere around 20-ish percent. I can't remember the exact figure, but there is a percentage of women that can just come via penetration. But because that percentage is smaller, that is why I recommend just go to the clitoris as a default. But if you do want to stimulate the G-spot, the best thing to do is to find it first with your fingers. So you're going to take a couple of fingers, insert them inside the vagina and roughly an inch or two inside. If you just press against the front wall, almost like you're beckoning someone to come to you, you should feel around and you should find like a softer, spongier area that is a lot more soft and spongy than the rest of the vagina and the rest of that wall that you're feeling. That is the G-spot. And when you palpitate that G-spot with your fingers or with a dildo or a pin, is that is going to be incredibly stimulating for the G-spot owner. And the reason is, is because the G-spot actually butts up against the roots of the clitoris. So we used to think that the clitoris was just that tiny little pea-sized thing that you see on the outside of the vulva. It sits just above the urethra, which is the hole that women pee out of. We used to think that was it. That was the clitoris. It was just that tiny little bump that we could see. But we now know, we've learned in more recent research that actually that's just the tip of the clitoris and that it's a wishbone shape that goes deep down into the vagina with roots that come out to each side. And those roots butt up against the G-spot. So if you're stimulating the G-spot, you're gonna be stimulating part of the clitoris as well. And if you can work in to stimulate both of those things at once, well, you have the best possible chance of getting your female partner to climax. One of my favorite ways to do that is to lay on your back as a penis owner and have her straddle over you. Also, let me say that you can do this as not a penis owner. Women can do this wearing a strap-on or men can do it wearing a strap-on dildo as well. Have her sit over the top and sit down on you so that your penis or a dildo is inside her. She can lean her body so that it's hitting against her G-spot while she is riding you. And then you can either reach forward and stimulate her clitoris or you can get her to stimulate her own clitoris with her fingers or a small handheld clitoral vibrator while she is riding you. It's very sexy to watch and it's also gonna give her the best possible chance of getting to the big O. So. Those are the basics of how women come. I hope those have helped you out. If you want more sort of detailed videos on stimulating the clitoris, then I do have a whole video on that up here or here. It's one of these sides. I'll link it. And if you're new here and you enjoyed this and you want more informative sex content, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to go down and hit that link as well, guys, for promotion. 15% off when you hit the link. It's just going to be applied instantly at checkout. They've got amazing products. And every time you buy from Promescent, you actually help support me to stay in this job making these sex content videos for you because mama's got to get paid in order to be able to do this. And sponsors like Promescent help me do this as a job and they're going to keep sponsoring me if you guys go and support them. So do go ahead and check out some of their products. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you'd like more of this content. And I'll see you all in the next video.